Rod Miller Motorsports are famous in America for their stunning motoring creations, but even by their standards, this is a bit special. It's taken ages in development and over £300,000 to create this Toyota, aptly named the Ultimate Celica. Right, so just explain for the camera who you are, please. I'm John Charlin with Rod Millen Motorsport. Full responsible for this thing over there. We're slated to build that car. Yeah, artistic pan. Oh, very slick, isn't it? Who built it? Rod Millen Motorsport was contracted to build this from Toyota. Right. Uh, we were responsible for all of the chassis integration, all the uh, the body work. Uh, TRD did all the motor work. So just explain for the older uh, the kids back home in England who Rod Millen is. He's a bit of a god. Rod is a legend, very experienced rally driver, outright uh, world record holder at Pikes Peak Hill Climb. He's owned that record for six years. He knows a thing or two about corrective opposite lock and that kind yes, of thing. Yes, uh, he knows that well. It's fair to say he could beat me off the lights. Cool. It's on colossal 19s, pumps out a scary 500 brake horsepower, makes an almighty noise out of the twin exit tailpipes and has a one-off front in the style of an F1 car. £300,000 on your motor, that's what you call ultimate. Why did he build it? We've done a few other vehicles for Toyota and they decided that we would be a good fit for this vehicle. We've done a uh, Lexus street rod for them in the past right. and a Toyota uh, retro cruiser. Ultimate, so that is what it is called, the ultimate? That is the official name. So, T litre, 16 valve engine. Engine, uh, single turbo. Right, one the size of like, a small country, presumably. Uh, it's not all that big. It's a oh. uh, large, small turbo, large compressor. Right. That's always handy. So, 500 horsepower. Yes. So, how drivable is it? Um, it's fairly drivable. I say, when I was listening to um, it ticking over, so my head still hurts <laughs> just from hearing it doing nothing. So, I can't imagine what it's like actually like moving. A full song, it's not too bad. <laughs> not too bad, that's probably what we call understatement. You're a little bit more overwhelmed with everything else going on with the vehicle. You tend to sacrifice a little bit of hearing. What sort of a 0 to 60 timing? I think you quoted at, what, 4.9? 4, 4, 4.9, that's probably pretty correct. What about a kind of a top speed? Top speed is geared for about 185 miles an hour, and that's just limited to what will fit into the gearbox that we're using. How fast have you taken it on uh, American roads? It's only been driven around the roads at, at very moderate speeds. It's been on a couple tracks, yeah. do a couple shakedowns, but nothing radical on the city roads. So what's going to happen to it next? Where's it going? Uh, Where can you go from here? Yeah, it's uh, probably going to end up in Toyota's uh, museum. Oh yeah. yeah the, Bit of a shame. <laughs>